everybody. I'm currently in Walt Disney World and I am vlogging my trip for you guys. I just uploaded a video where I spent the day in Disney Springs and now I'm going to be going to Magic Kingdom. We're about to hit the road but before that I want to go ahead and show y'all my outfit of the day. So this is my outfit of the day. I wanted to do something a little bit Vanellope Von Schweetz inspired. So I have my Vanellope ears that I got from Mouseketeers Boutique. I will have them linked down below. I have some necklaces that I got from TJ Maxx. This top I actually ordered from Shein. My shorts are American Eagle and of course we're finishing off with my TJ Maxx Adidas kicks. So we don't have much planned for our Magic Kingdom day today. We kind of want to just take it as we go. Ride whatever ride we want. See whatever show we want to see. However, we do plan on seeing the Happily Ever After fireworks show tonight because it is my favorite fireworks show. I absolutely loved it. And then on top of that, the Neutron Light Cycle released. So we really want to ride that. We're going to see if we can join the virtual queue around 1 p.m. So we're going to see if we get lucky with that because that would be so much fun to ride as well. But anyways, with all that being said, let's go ahead and get going. <music> dumplings and the watermelon refresher but unfortunately they got rid of the dumplings which is a big bummer I was so excited to try them so I did get the watermelon refresher and this has yuzu and ginger in it as well and it's also topped with some pop rocks as well so let's go ahead and give it a try it is super sweet it literally just tastes like a watermelon popsicle I really like that I feel like that's like such a nice way to kind of like refresh the day especially in the morning because it's, it can be so hot here this is definitely like a really nice drink to get it's sweet but it also still tastes like juice I just I really like this so anyways I'm gonna go ahead and finish that up and then we are gonna go hop on Space Mountain going to head over into Fantasyland to try to get a little bite to eat. We're thinking of maybe going to Pinocchio's Village House possibly. Honestly, anything at this point sounds good. We were also able to successfully join the Tron Virtual Queue. We are boarding group 112, so that's going to be later on in the evening. We're hoping we hit it around like 5 p.m. because afterwards we can watch the fireworks show. So that is our goal, but we are so excited to finally be able to ride that. So in the meantime, we're gonna go ahead and go grab some food. So we just got our food. We ended up getting the pepperoni flatbread, a Caesar salad, and then a Coke to drink because we were thirsty. We really wanted something fresh, so we're really excited about like the Caesar salad. But something to note is they have so many condiments here, which is actually really nice. They have some ranch, barbecue sauce, honey mustard, mayo, crushed pepper flakes, parmesan, just everything that you want. That like you can kind of like spruce up your pizza a little bit. Like you can put some ranch on the pizza, you can put some barbecue sauce on the pizza. Okay, let's see how it tastes. That's pretty good. The ranch. Mm -hmm. That's really nice actually. It's like not too heavy. It has really good flavor. I definitely really like it. Also, it's not too greasy and that's really nice. I actually think I do prefer it with the ranch. It tastes really nice and it kind of just like lightens everything up a little bit. I do want to know though, what are y'all's favorite places to eat in Magic Kingdom? I'm always so interested to see like what people's favorite places to eat are in the parks. We usually go for Be Our Guest and Casey's Corner. I mean, those are two ends of the spectrum, price-wise at least. But I've always been interested to try some of the other places. So if so, what are your thoughts? What do you guys like. I do wish that they did more kiosks like they do over in Epcot just like for like little bites and stuff I saw that they had some spring rolls like pizza and cheeseburger spring rolls and those seem pretty good I really wanted to try the dumplings at energy bites, but they don't have them anymore But stuff like that always sounds really fun So I think I'm gonna keep an eye out for those in the future But anyways, I'm gonna eat up and I will see y'all shortly We just 
just finished up with Mickey's Magic, and we made our way over to the center of the park to watch the Festival of Fantasy Parade. It's really cool. We're actually like right by the center part by the castle. So that's gonna be starting here in about 10 minutes. And I'm so excited because I don't think I've ever seen the full parade. So this is gonna be a lot of fun. Disneyland as well so I want to see that one day but this was so much fun I absolutely loved it we do have a lightning lane for Haunted Mansion though so we're gonna start heading that way Thunder Mountain Railroad. Also, this is the first time I'm seeing the Princess and the Frog retheme for Splash Mountain, and I am so excited about that. I think that's such a good idea, and I think it's gonna look absolutely beautiful, and I think the music is gonna be so good. So I'm really excited about that, and it's coming along pretty well. Thunder Mountain Railroad and I love that ride so much. It is so much fun. And so now we are almost time to board our virtual queue for Tron's light cycle. So until then, we actually made a quick lightning lane over to Journey of the Little Mermaid, mostly because that is so nostalgic. That is my mom and my like, favorite childhood movie growing up. Like growing up, she was my favorite Disney princess. So what better way to celebrate a mother-daughter trip than going to ride it together? When I was a kid, this also was my favorite ride as well. You know, your favorite like slow moving ride growing up. Oh, I loved it so much. So we're gonna head over there now to kind of go down memory lane a little bit. We got our notification that it is time to board, so we're gonna head that way now, and I am so, so excited. <laughs> launch in the beginning was intense but in such a smooth way which I appreciate because sometimes like rock and roller coaster I have to be in the mood for that because it's such an intense launch but then the rest of the ride is freaking amazing but this one it kind of like eased you into it 10 out of 10 would definitely ride that again I'm so happy that they added that to Magic Kingdom I feel like Magic Kingdom really was missing a thrilling ride like that so I'm, I couldn't be happier so now we are headed over to Cinderella's Castle to get our spot to watch happily ever after I am so excited like I said I've missed this fireworks show so much I'm so happy that they brought it back so it's about like 6 30 right now so we figured we'd go grab a spot so I'll see y'all when we get there so 
we finally got our spot for the fireworks. We're actually pretty close to the castle. I know it looks further away, but we're actually the closest I think I've ever been for any of the fireworks show, so I'm really excited about that. And so it's gonna be starting about 30 minutes. I'm so excited to share it with you guys. Like I said, I haven't seen it in like three years or something, so I'm just, I'm so excited to see it. So let's get started. and it was just as beautiful as I remembered. It is so amazing, the music is just fantastic and I love it every time. So right now, since we didn't have any dinner, we are actually going to be leaving the park, which is crazy because we don't normally leave the parks this early, but we are going to be leaving the park and hopping over to the Polynesian Village so we can go to Trader Sam's Grog Grotto. We have heard such amazing things about Trader Sam's Grog Grotto, so we just kind of want to be able to experience it on this trip, and tonight did seem like the best night to do that since it is just right across the way from Magic Kingdom. So it's gonna be an easy monorail trip over, so we're gonna head that way now and I will see y'all over there. Uh, Rock Grotto had a two hour wait and that's likely not gonna happen tonight. Plus they wouldn't be able to serve food at that point anyway. So we just went outside to Trader Sam's Tiki Bar where they still serve the same drinks and food. You just don't get the atmosphere or the special cups and whatnot. But we have some beautiful live music and it's gorgeous outside so I really can't complain. They definitely have some really unique looking drinks. Like really, really fun drinks and I'm so excited to try them but what has been calling my name, I think, is the Spiky Pineapple, which is basically a spiked Dole Whip. So I think I'm definitely gonna get that and we're gonna take a look at the appetizers as well. So we just got our food and drinks and they look so, so good. I haven't tried anything yet. I thought we could do a little taste test together. So this is the Spiky Pineapple, which is basically just spiked Dole Whip. I have been wanting something like this for so long. I have always thought like Dole Whip, but with alcohol. So let's see. That is so good, that is so refreshing. It's awful because I could literally have that for breakfast. It is like the Disney sweetened version of a pina colada. And it's nice because it's blended so it's like super frothy and just creamy as well. It is, this is delicious, this is delicious. So first I'm going to try the Kahuna Tuna Sushi Roll and I love sushi and it just sounded really nice after today. Just something light, easy to go to bed with so. I'm so excited. Cheers. Okay. 
that is just really nice and light. It has a little bit of like an after kick to it, which is really fun. I really like this. So next we have the Thai chicken flatbread with bacon and peanut sauce. a day like today this is heavenly if I were at the Polynesian I would somehow want this delivered to my room after every park day this is so good so the sauce that comes with the sushi and the pizza if you dip it in there that is <laughs> that is so good honestly I feel like I'm just I'm I'm thriving the weather is beautiful had a great day at the park eating some good food late at night I'm just I'm so content but anyway I'm gonna go ahead and finish this and I will see y'all soon. So we finally made it back to the room and we are ready to get settled for the night I had so much fun today literally I would say like the biggest highlight was probably riding the new Tron ride that was so cool and like the more I thought about it that was just so well done and just such an enjoyable experience I think it was pretty badass not gonna lie and then to top it all off Trader Sam's Tiki Bar was absolutely amazing I loved that that was so delicious such a fun way to end the evening so then we came back to Coronado Springs we made it back to our room and something cool about the resorts is you can actually Actually get packages delivered to your resort I have never done this before I remember hearing about it and I wasn't sure if like the, I think they closed it after COVID temporarily but it is up and running and so I actually ran into an incident that I forgot to pack something and so I actually got something shipped to the resort normally I wouldn't care enough on a trip however when I was packing for the trip I usually have a vanity lighted mirror it's just like a travel one that you can use I actually repurchased it off of Amazon and I can have it linked down below for you guys if you guys are interested as well but I got it shipped to Coronado Springs so all they do is they just need you instead of putting your name you put guests your name and then your arrival dates and then you put the address of the resort so for example mine is guest Madeline Klein arrival November 1st and then they can notate that on the box whenever it comes in and you can send it up to the front desk where you can pick it up because they sometimes hold it like in the business office but they have nine to five business hours so if you have it sent to the front desk then you can go pick it up anytime so I guess this is gonna go ahead and turn into just a little bit of an unboxing so basically it comes in these pieces it also comes with a charger as well which is like a little USB charger so you can get like one of like the iPhone plugs to like plug it into a socket or some of these hotels like this one they have a USB socket plug-in as well so it's really nice and flat and compact and easy to pack in your suitcase which I really like so you just pop the bottom on like that and then you have your nice little doors and it has all of like these little lights around it so that makes it nice and you just touch the mirror and it lights up it looks very bright on camera I promise it's like the perfect amount but I'm so happy that I was able to get it shipped to the resort because like I said like I wouldn't normally do that but for, some, for families sometimes they ship things ahead of time you can ship groceries to your resort just any little thing and it's nice that the front desk will hold it but for something like this where it really is gonna make the trip easier I needed to repurchase it Anyway, I'm just so excited that I was able to get it here and of course like with Amazon Prime It got here literally overnight. So I'm very happy about that But anyways, that is going to be it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching I really hope you enjoyed it If you haven't already make sure you check out yesterday's vlog where I went to Disney Springs And make sure you stick around and subscribe to my channel so that you can see my next vlog Where we are going to be going to the Epcot food and wine festival Which is always usually one of my favorite days here in Disney. So I'm so excited for that and you guys definitely won't want to miss it. So anyways, once again, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!